All right. Now we're getting into some more serious news. Packers signed two to the practice squad. Safety Omar Brown, which there were two of them, so I was kind of confused. The Ravens and Broncos both had them. And linebacker Chris Russell, familiar name. Famously, on this podcast anyways, the guy who I had no idea who he was. I was reading off, I think it was PFF, and I was like, I've never heard the name Chris Russell before. I don't know where, it, I don't know how he slipped through the cracks. I, I just, I don't know if I've ever had that. There's some that I'm less familiar with where it's like, I don't kind of sort of remember. I don't know. I've never just been like, bro, that's fake. He's not on the team. I'm positive he's not on the team, but he made the team. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look at PFF here. Most importantly, Omar Brown. He is a 2024 undrafted free agent, initially picked up by the Denver Broncos. Six foot one, 200 pound safety. It is interesting to me that um, AJJ didn't make the cut. Now, granted, the Packers likely were trying to get him on the practice squad and weren't able to. Don't know. But for whatever reason, they really liked uh, Omar Brown and what he did. It's also interesting that it's, it's, the Packers seem to like to pick guys that they've recently played against in the preseason. That happens a lot. It could just be a coincidence, but I don't necessarily think so. Um, if you look at Green Bay here, let's just do something real quick. Uh, they played Cleveland, Denver, and Baltimore. So where did the safety come from? Denver. Where did our kicker come from? Baltimore. Where did our quarterback come from? Baltimore. It just seems like there's something about these coaches and, and guys actually seeing them in person and getting their hands on them or whatever. I don't know. It could just be a massive coincidence, but I don't think so because I've noticed this in the past. I've referenced this in the past, and it just seems to be a continuing phase. He is 23.8 years old, by the way. Um, in the preseason, he was fine, mediocre against the Colts, Packers, and Arizona Cardinals. He was a 65.5 PFF grade, 61 run defense, 80 tackling grade, though, solid tackling. Pass rush, uh, he only attempted twice, so I don't super care. His coverage grade was a 65.9. He had five tackles, zero missed tackles. I'm sure that's a big plus. And also two stops. So out of the five that he had, two of them were sort of high-impact tackles. He was only targeted once. It was only caught for four yards. That was the longest given up, just an 83.3 um, passer rating when targeted. Real quick, I just want to take a little peeksy at his college career here. Omar Brown, Nebraska Cornhusker, had some really, really good years. Uh, again, he is a little bit older, going on 24 years old. He had one year where he was injured in 2022. Outside of that one year, he was at Northern Iowa for three years. He had a 76 89 and 84 PFF grades. His coverage grades were 78, 90, and 86. Then he got injured in 2022, comes back, er, excuse me, he went to Nebraska, got injured, didn't really play, comes back in 2023 to play for Nebraska. I'm guessing the plan was, you know, I want to go to a bigger program in 2022. I'm going to show out there and then I'm going to go into the draft. Unfortunately, he gets hurt. He has to come back another year for Nebraska. But guess what? Injury, all that, he shows out. 83 PFF grade, 74 run defense grade, 85 coverage grade for Nebraska. Again, bigger school. He rushed the passer three times and had three pressures. That's pretty incredible. He gave him a 56 pass rush grade because PFF's pass rush grades are brain damaged. Um, <laughs> he had a 16.4% missed tackle rate. I don't I feel like that's high. I don't have a, a number in mind that I've observed that is good or bad. 18 stops, which is incredibly high. 59 targets, 35 receptions for 259 yards. Zero touchdowns given up. In fact, he's given up two in his entire college career. Both of them were his rookie year. In the last four years, technically three because one he didn't play. In the last three years, he's given up zero touchdowns. But in 2023, zero touchdowns, one interception, two pass breakups, 62.7 PFF grade. So pretty solid football player, somebody that it's good to get to hands. I love when they're undrafted free agents. You know, we've had some success bringing guys in that um, they've been around the block, and it's like, why are we bothering? And then somehow they just explode, right? We we can list off all the names already. Um, but I just like when you get these these guys you just don't know. Like, he might be a stud. He was a good college player. He had a decent preseason. He seems to be a solid tackler. He's got some coverage ability. Probably a good fit for Halfley's scheme. You know, 
we'll see how she goes. And then Mr. Chris Russell, six foot two, two thirty five, uh, linebacker out of Texas A and M. Got to dig that undrafted free agent. Did not play week one. Week two, he has a sixty eight grade. He only played six snaps, so he didn't have any opportunity to do anything because he didn't exist. Talk about Zane Anderson. Chris Russell didn't exist. He just appeared in the middle of the Denver game, apparently. But he still managed uh, just his six snaps, three tackles, and a stop. Six snaps. Only five of them were run plays. And he got three of those five tackles and a stop. That's pretty crazy. So I'm guessing the Packers saw that and they're like, let's see what he can do. Give him 25 opportunities against Baltimore. 16 run plays, nine coverage plays. He had two tackles, one assist. He had one stop in that game as well. In coverage, two targets, two receptions, 10 yards. But a 90.3 PFF grade, 82 run defense grade, 77 tackling grade, which is what he had the week before also, really solid tackling, and a 77 coverage grade. Overall, for the preseason, which was limited, we're talking 31 snaps, he had a 90 PFF grade, 80 run defense, 80 tackling, 77 coverage grade, five tackles, one assist, two stops, two targets, two receptions, 10 yards, 87.5 passer rating when targeted. Um, and yeah, he deserves to be on the on, on the practice squad. I mean, it maybe it, it could be a fluke, but you start putting out like that. And again, even forget the grades for a second. This is astonishing to me that this guy has I mean, you get these guys that are way at the bottom right it's just we're going to pick him up because we need a guy he's way at the bottom they throw him six snaps like throwing him scraps dude i did, shouldn't say these things but you know i i made uh for the first time these uh call them dino ribs the the beef ribs just a bit you get the giant bone with the meat on it. it's like brisket on a stick is another way that people put it. it's really good but there's some uh, like cartilage and stuff in there. Some kind of I'm you know if you're just eating it, it's fine. But if you can if you can manage, you pull out the little bits of cartilage or whatever the stuff that's like right on the bone. Maybe the cat wants it. Cat ate some of it, left some of it, and we threw it in the garbage. No big deal. But I'm just saying he's getting the scrap. He's getting this cartilage. Like I'm not eating this crap. I'm gonna throw it on the ground. If you want to eat it, go ahead. They gave him six opportunities. They, they had no expect. They didn't even want him on the field. They were pissed that they had to give him six snaps because it's taken away from somebody else that actually matters in life as opposed to Chris Russell Jr., who doesn't even exist. Just furious that we have to waste six snaps on this guy. And he goes out and on five run plays gets three tackles and a stop. <laughs> like, let's, let's give him another chance, see what he does. And he's like the best player on the entire team. For week three. So at the very least, I mean, look, you put him on the practice squad. If it's a fluke, they're going to find out very quickly. They're going to dump Chris Russell. They're going to fill that spot with somebody else. He may not even last the rest of the week, for all I know. But um, look, I mean, in my opinion, if you put out like this, you deserve it. I mean, he, there's nothing he could have done any better than that. So congrats to them twos. 